Remember those days when you kicked back on your favorite armchair, popcorn in hand, and tuned in to watch the timeless 1959 classic, Anatomy of a Murder. Ah, uh, the nostalgia. It's like unlocking a treasure chest of memories. Do you recall the suspense that had you on the edge of your seat, or the brilliant performances that brought the characters to life? Perhaps you had a favorite moment that still lingers in your mind, or a character who left an indelible mark on your heart. Whether it was the gripping courtroom drama or the charismatic Jane Stewart, there's something magical about sharing those cherished moments. So, let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Share with us your fondest memories, your favorite scenes, or the emotions this remarkable movie stirred within you. After all, the beauty of the classic is in the stories it weaves into our lives. Now, as we embark on this journey together, let me sprinkle in some random facts about the show that you might find intriguing. It's time to uncover the hidden gems and untold stories behind Anatomy of a Murder. Anatomy of a Murder, released in 1959 and directed by Otto Preminger, is a classic legal drama film based on the novel by Robert Traver. Set in a small Michigan town, the movie revolves around a high-profile murder trial. The story unfolds through the perspective of defense attorney Paul Beegler, brilliantly portrayed by James Stewart, who takes on the case of an army lieutenant accused of killing a man who allegedly raped his wife. What sets this film apart is its groundbreaking and daring approach to courtroom drama, featuring explicit discussions of sex and taboo subjects for its time. It also boasts a stellar cast, including George C. Scott and Lee Remick, who deliver memorable performances. The film's unique style lies in its frank and unflinching exploration of moral ambiguity and the legal system's complexities. Anatomy of the Murder made a significant impact on popular culture by pushing the boundaries of what could be depicted on screen and influencing subsequent courtroom dramas. It remains a powerful and thought-provoking cinematic masterpiece that continues to captivate audiences with its compelling narrative and exceptional performances, making it a timeless classic in the realm of legal thrillers. In the 1959 movie Anatomy of a Murder, several intriguing details add depth to the film's narrative. One notable aspect involves Mrs. Joseph N. Welch, the real-life wife of the judge. It's reported that Judge Welch agreed to participate in the movie on the condition that his wife could have a role as a member of the jury. Another interesting tidbit relates to the character of Mannion, whose dress uniform reveals a remarkable military history. His decorations include the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, and the Purple Heart, hinting at a rich backstory that adds layers to his character. Furthermore, Saul Bass, a renowned graphic designer, played a significant role in the film's visuals. He designed both the titles and poster for Anatomy of a Murder. Notably, the imagery of a body in both this film and Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo from 1958 bears a striking resemblance, showcasing Bass' distinctive style. His intriguing details provide additional depth and context to the 1959 movie Anatomy of a Murder, enriching the viewer's understanding of the film's production and characters. It's clear that even beyond the central plot, this movie is filled with captivating nuances that make it a timeless classic. The 1959 movie Anatomy of a Murder contains interesting behind-the-scenes details that add depth to the film's history. One notable fact is that the law library scene in the courthouse was actually filmed in the Carnegie Public Library in Ishpeming, Michigan. The door that viewers saw being opened in the courthouse, located in Marquette, led to the men's restroom. This unique choice of filming locations highlights the practicality of movie production and the ingenuity of the filmmakers. Moreover, Anatomy of a Murder was shot on location in Marquette County, Michigan. This decision to film in a real setting rather than on a soundstage contributed to the film's authentic atmosphere and helped immerse viewers in the story. Another interesting tidbit from the film is the car driven by James Stewart's character. In the movie, he cruises around in a 1949 Pontiac Silver Street convertible, reflecting the style and automotive choices of the late 1950s. Additionally, the film pays homage to the local culture of Michigan which has a substantial Finnish population due to historical immigration from Nordic countries. The bartender at the beginning of the film is named Toivo, and the county jail guard is named Sula, both Finnish names. While Finnish names often lack specific meanings, Toivo translates to hope, and Sulo likely derives from the word Suloinen, meaning sweet, charming, or adorable. 
This subtle nod to the local culture adds depth to the characters and setting of the movie. In conclusion, Anatomy of a Murder is not only a captivating legal drama but also a film with intriguing details that enhance the viewer's experience. From its unconventional filming locations to its use of authentic local names, the movie showcases the attention to detail that went into its production. In the 1959 movie Anatomy of a Murder, James Dolly replaced Pat Hingle in the role of Mitch Lodwick after Hingle was injured in a fall down an elevator shaft. However, Dolly then left the production to appear in a Broadway play, and he was subsequently replaced by Brooks West, who happened to be the husband of Eve Arden, an actress who played the role of Mater Ruddledge in the film. In the movie, there's a scene where Paul Bagler, played by James Stewart, attempts to telephone Laura Mannion. To make the call, he has to dial zero and get the operator to connect him. This reflects the era when the film was made, a time when many small towns had only one exchange with three-digit telephone numbers. Halls outside of the local exchange required the assistance of an operator to complete the connection. Remarkably, the shooting of Anatomy of a Murder was completed in just two months, a testament to the efficiency and dedication of the cast and crew in bringing this gripping courtroom drama to life. And there you have it, some interesting tidbits about the 1959 movie Anatomy of a Murder. From cast changes to the portrayal of telephone communication and the swift production schedule, these aspects contribute to the film's unique history and style. In 1959, the movie Anatomy of a Murder made its mark in cinematic history. One interesting fact about this film is that Duke Ellington composed the music and even made a cameo appearance as Pie Eye. This legendary jazz musician added his musical genius to the movie's soundtrack and made a memorable cameo, contributing to the film's overall appeal. A murder in the movie takes place at Thunder Bay Inn, situated on the south shore of Lake Superior. What's intriguing is that the film was released 11 years before the city of Thunder Bay, Ontario, on the North Shore, even existed. The city of Thunder Bay, as we know it today, was formed in 1970 by merging Fort William and Port Arthur. So, Anatomy of a Murder is a cinematic snapshot of a time when Thunder Bay, Ontario, was not yet on the map. While the movie itself is notable, it also has a place in the history of film soundtracks. Along with a select few other films like Glory, Crimson Tide, Independence Day, and The Dark Knight, Anatomy of a Murder won a Grammy Award for Best Score, despite not receiving a nomination for an Academy Award for Best Original Score. This recognition underscores the film's exceptional orchestral soundtrack and its enduring impact on the world of cinema. In conclusion, Anatomy of a Murder stands out not only for its captivating storyline but also for its connections to notable figures like Duke Ellington and its unique place in the history of film soundtracks. It's a classic that continues to be celebrated for its contributions to both music and cinema. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the riveting 1959 classic, Anatomy of a Murder, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the cinematic masterpiece that has left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. This gripping courtroom drama, directed by the legendary Otto Preminger, has not only stood the test of time but continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. It delves into the intricate web of morality, justice, and human nature, challenging our perceptions and sparking contemplation. From James Stewart's stellar portrayal of the brilliant defense attorney to the spellbinding score by Duke Ellington, every aspect of this film has contributed to its enduring appeal. Perhaps it's the moral ambiguity of the characters or the suspenseful courtroom proceedings that left you pondering long after the credits roll. Or maybe it's the thought-provoking themes of justice and ethics that struck a chord with you. Whatever it may be, your personal connection to Anatomy of a Murder is a testament to the film's timeless relevance. I invite you to share your favorite memories or thoughts about this cinematic gem. Whether it's a particular scene that left you breathless, a character whose complexity you admired, or the way it sparked conversations about ethics and justice in your own life, your insights are a valuable part of the film's legacy. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of appreciation for Anatomy of a Murder. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep the spirit of great storytelling alive. Warm regards.